Hey guys, in this video we're going to be doing the covers for the Remnants Lovely Layers Graphic 45 Fairy Dust album that I designed for the Maidicon. And just as a reminder, uh, it is February when I'm filming this, so keep that in mind. As usual, the links to my printables will be in the description box below. The links to the playlist for the Remnants Lovely Layers printable will also be in the description box below. And any and all things that I use to the best I can will be in the description box below via links to uh, my Amazon shop and, or not my shop, <laughs> my Amazon list and other stores that I purchase from. So, so what I'm going to try to do in this video is we're going to try to get the covers done and the uh, extra embellishing for the inside of the album. Um, we'll see how long the video gets, but I'm going to try to condense it. I've already prepped some stuff ahead of time that I've already done in this actual album series. This, you know, making this particular album. So once again, here's the paper line, Graphic 45, Fairy Dust, and we're using both sets. Um, you'll have to excuse my voice. It is really early in the morning. And my husband and I played um, co-ed volleyball last night, and I'm tired, <laughs> and my body hurts, and I had a nail casualty. You probably can't see it, but it was pretty bad. The ball hit my fingernail just right, and anyways, but I played on, <laughs> band-aid and all. <laughs> um, so it's early, and I'm not a great morning person, so you guys are just going to bear with me just a little. <laughs> okay, so... Like I said, I've already prepped things um, for this cover just because, um, like for example, this is the mini envelope number two. So I already went ahead and made it because we already made one. Um, and this one is printed on like um, thicker right, copy paper, but thicker. So, and I just printed the stained script on, on it. I just printed it out of stained script. So it's just pretty little cute little envelope there and then these three items are from my build embellishment set number four and I went ahead and just trimmed them out and inked them up so that they're ready to go inked them up on both sides if they needed to be um, so those are ready my favorites in the cute and then oh I also made the bow that's going to be on the cover um, this is was on one of the pages that we used and it's just a pinched butterfly there with a key so this is going on the cover too but I've already made one of these so I just went ahead and pre-made it I made it the exact same way what else did I prepare I think that might be it I think that might be it so let's see what should we do first oh I'm gonna use some cheesecloth on the cover so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and seam binding i'm going to be using that as the closure and then we're going to be using a glass seam bag and some tickets and some random stuff so oh let me get the paper so these are the sheets that i kept aside because i wanted to use these on the cover so that's the leftover bits of the cut apart page so we're going to be using this on the cover and this one on the cover. So what I'm going to do, really, I might just I might just fold it in half and cut it. There is a traceable template in the template set for the covers, the mats for the covers. I was going to say I can't see that, but I didn't include that in the kit, so I didn't want to use it here because you know that wouldn't be fair so this is going to go uh, one on the front and one on the back um i guess it matters which one as long as i have it the right way yeah so what i'm going to do i think is we're going to ink those up and then this is also going to go on the front cover you see how it's a little skinnier i wanted it that way and i want to try to i wonder if i can get it ripped i want to rip these edges a little bit just to give it some more texture okay so we're just gonna we're gonna prepare some of these things and then we're just gonna build build the layers right on top of each other so I want to, oh and then this the, the glassing bag before I start inking 
the glassine bag, we need to fold it. Let's see, we're going to fold it like this, I think. Yep, this glassine bag is, I'll put a link to it in my Amazon shop if I can find it. And if not, I'll put a link to somewhere else. But we're just going to fold it, not quite in half. You see there's a little bit of it. It's not quite in half. Um, this is probably half right there. So just a little bit away from half, just like that. And we're going to cut this top off so that we could have um, a pocket up there. And so, and then we're also going to be using some of these tickets. And I might leave all, all these together. I haven't decided yet. So let's ink a little bit. And then we can just start assembling. So this is Distress Oxide in Walnut Stain. And you want to ink the glassine bag. And it will take uh, ink very well. So don't be scared of it. So I'm going to go ahead, I think, before um, I ink everything else, I'm going to go ahead and glue this together. And this is Fabri-Tac. I'm using Fabri-Tac. There we go. Fabri-Tac by Beacon. I should have had my glue sitting upside down. So I'm going to run some glue along this edge. Or these edges. You don't need that much. And I'm going to close it up. And then I'm also going to run a little bit of glue in that gusset there. We don't want that coming open too much on both sides. And then um, on this back part here, same thing. We just want to run a little bit in that gusset so it doesn't come flopping open too bad. going to be on our cover too and this is where um, some of these tags and things are going to be so let's go ahead now and ink these up just letting it dry a little bit let's go ahead and ink I'm going to ink all three of these pieces up and then I'll be back all right I've got all three of those pieces inked and ready to go I think first what I'm going to do though you guys is I'm going to put the seam binding closure on because it's going to go underneath all of the mats. So basically I'm just going to lay it on the book, like on the spine, drape it on either side, just like that. And then I'm going to glue it. I'm just going to take some of the Fabri-Tac again and I'm going to glue it down. You could use tape if you want to. You don't have to use um, Fabri-Tac. But I'm going to try to get it in the center here. And so, just like that. And then when we flip the book over, let me add a, a layer or two on this side and then we'll flip the book over and, um, or I wonder if I could just, no, I better not do that. I guess I could go ahead. So I'm gonna add cheesecloth. So I'm gonna, I guess I could go ahead and do that on here. All right, let me let me just trim this down. Um I might trim a little bit off the top too. Trim it down. Careful not to get the seam bending. That would be not good, wouldn't it? And then let me trim this top off. It's just another another added layer of texture is all it is. So that's going to go on the cover. That'll be the bottom layer like that. And then one of these is going to be the next layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover this back with a good amount of Fabri-Tac.
All right. So I think I'm going to cattywonk it. Yep, that's a Genevieve term, cattywonked. Just like that. All right, now I'm going to flip it over and glue this down and put this piece down as well because there's no there's no cheesecloth back here. Okay. And I'm going to grab this. And this one, I don't think I'm going to caddy walk it. I think caddy walk it. <laughs> caddy walk it. I'm just going to lay it on here like this. Then I'm going to distress these edges and like roll them up just a little bit. Again, just for a little bit of texture. I mean, you can't really mess it up, you know? So I just run my fingernail. If you don't want to use your fingernail, you could use scissors. Just be careful. Be very careful. Always be careful when you're using scissors. And then on this back side, I do want to, I'm going to use this little card here and a sticker, I think. Because... I think it's a cute idea to have something like this on the back of your albums that you could like, I'm going to write, um, I'm going to write, well, I'm going to wait to write. I could put, you know, like handmade by, or this book was made for, or whatever. So I'm going to grab one of these stickers from the sticker sheet. And I'm going to ink it up a little bit. And I'm also going to distress this, this edge a little bit. Whoa. And rip it, apparently. You know, the backs of books, you know, get worn and tore up more than fronts of books. So, let's add some ink to that. So, I just think it would be cute like that. So, I'm going to glue this down. With a generous amount of glue. Probably didn't need that much, but again, back of the book. So I'm just going to lay this down here. Uh, there we go. And I'm just going to write on here, um, love Jennifer. Oh, Genevieve Designs. Right? And you can put like the date, you can put whatever you want. So just a simple little something on the back. It just, I don't know, it's cool. I sometimes like putting envelopes back here or pockets even. It's fun to do random stuff like that that's not expected. So I like doing stuff like that. All right, so let's see. I want to, I probably should have done this before I laid it down, but I want to kind of curl these a little right same thing just to give it movement and texture and maybe a little over here all right so then this piece I want it to go the other way, and right before I go ahead and glue this sucker down, let's do some of that rolling. I'm just rolling it the corners between my fingers and my thumb there. So 
So this is going to go here. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down. Because I already know what I'm doing because, you know, I've already made my prototype and stuff. So I have already know exactly what what's going on here. So I'm just going to commit and glue it down. And since Fabri-Tac gives you time to work, it's totally fine. So, I'm going to go like this. And then this right here is going to go here, I think. And then this is going to be here. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and glue the back down. I should get me a new bottle of glue. But no, I'm hard-headed. I'm just going to keep on fighting it. When I'm recording, I should <laughs> make an effort to have things that are working properly. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this like right there. And you know, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down too. You see, I'm doing it. I'm going to go stick it down. That way we can work around it. Okay. So this is just going to go right here. Alright, and then these tickets, maybe I only need two. So I'm going to ink these up real good. And I'm going to rough them up a little bit. And they're going to go right under. Whoa, my glue is erupting. Let's just go ahead and take that glue. <laughs> they're going to go right under here. Like right there. There we go. So, that's cool. That's cool. All right, so now let's go ahead and prepare. We've got to prepare these, these items. I don't need those tickets. And then we've got some little flowers and things. And let's start with the things that we have to glue together. Look at, <laughs> look at that. Okay, so with these flowers, I'm gonna get that little square of foam that I put in the kit. I'm gonna try to pick these flowers up. And I'm gonna take uh, something round and just kind of give them some dimension. Oh, you know what I should have done first? Let's ink them real fast. It's just easier that way. This is just a stamp it up punch, I believe. I don't, I have no idea if it's still available, but I like it because it's made, it punches, it, it's easy to punch and it makes, you know, tiny flowers. So I use it a lot, actually. So we're just going to use this little foam thing here and we're going to give them some dimension like that. Okay, so one of these is going to have a charm on it and this little charm right here. Um, there we go. You see it? Isn't that cute? Uh, I'm going to put that in the middle of the flower. So I'm going to put a dab of glue right in the middle here. And I'm just going to lay it in here. And it's going to flatten the flower out just a little bit, but that's okay. So it's going to look like that. So that's going to sit on our cover. So we're going to put that aside for a minute. And then these two have some gems in it. So I'm going to find, I'm going to put a dab of glue on each one of these. And I'm just going to get a couple of the smaller gems hard to do without all your tools, you know? I'm going to 
will do the best I can, especially with my nails. Whoop. So let's move these around and have them in the center. Yep, I put too much glue in there, but that's okay. Okay, so there's our three little flowers. And then let's 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 ink these little circles. Because they're gonna go on this little envelope here. Alright, I'm gonna get my little foam square back out. And so we're going to punch a hole for the closure here. And then I got a tiny little brad. I'm just going to stick in there. Oops. It's already kind of open. I'm going to open this up and then I'm going to glue the other circle right on the back side and since my glue is erupting I'm just going to glue this right there okay so let's let that dry for a minute my allergies are terrible in the morning do you guys have that same issue where's my whole reinforcement there they are Okay, so <clears throat> for this one, I want to use. I want to make it into a tag. Both of these are going to be tags, and I'm going to try my best to find the center like that. And then I'm going to punch it with my hole punch, my office hole punch. And then I'm going to flip it over, put the other green one right there. And then for this one, I'm going to use a purple one I think and I'm going to try to find the I glue up my finger now again I'm going to try to find the center punch flip it over so these are the last two whole reinforcement stickers that I have from the kit you guys oh no all right, so one of them I'm going to use seam binding, and one of them I'm going to use uh, twine. So I'm going to grab a bit of seam binding here. Oh, Jan, geez. Not near enough. Let's just go ahead and do it this way. See if I can make it smaller. Okay, perfect. So then I'm going to cut them just a little bit to the tails there. And also for this one, I'm going to dangle this little bulb pen that has a little charm on it. Isn't that cute? I'm going to dangle that off of that hole as well. So I'm just going to feed it through there like that. So there's one, and then this one is going to be twine. So I'm going to grab a piece of twine here. Feed it through. Pull it tight, or taut. And we're just going to leave that one just like that. So these go here. One goes in the back here, in the very back. And then this one, get back up there, charm. This one goes here, right? So cute. And then let's finish this one gonna need a piece of twine again and we're just going to not to go around this circle here 
we're going to make a knot. Pull it kind of tight. We don't want to be too tight. We don't want to rip anything. So we're going to tie it one more time. Okay, then I'm going to trim this end off pretty close to that circle. And I don't have my insert yet. I don't know what I did with it. But you can put an insert in there. But again, I'm just going to wrap it around like this, just like we did before. I'm going to wrap it around once and then twice and then go around. And that's all you need to do. So it's like a little secret. It's a little secret envelope. And it goes right there. So... Looking good. Okay, so I have these, also have these two little mini cards. Some of you might have gotten three. Uh, this pack only got two, and that's fine. Some of you may have gotten four. I don't know. You have to forgive us. But they're just these little, tiny, little, tiny cards. And I had a whole bunch of them. So I just didn't, I thought it would be cute. Because, you know, fairies remind me of many things. I just thought it would be cute. So I'm not even going to try to ink those. But I am going to... Just tuck them in around this bow over here, just for something cute. So maybe we'll just have them, um, whoa, shaky, shaky. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add these flowers, too, while i got my glue in hand. I'm just going to put a little dot, and then this one is going to live <laughs> right there. Yep. And then these two are going... Ah! <laughs> okay, and then these two are going down here underneath the bow. I'm going to put one right here, like half on that bag, half off, and then the other one is going to go right here. I think we get over top of it a little bit. Okay, so now all we need to do is add some gems. And I'm trying to think of the best way to do this because I don't have anything to pick. I mean, I do, obviously. I'm at home. But if we're going to be at the conference, I don't know what everybody's going to have. So one thing I do know is some of these big ones, I know exactly where they're going. So I'm just going to add some glue to the back of them. I know that's a lot of glue. And I'm just going to put them here and there just to add a little bling. Way too much glue. That's what happens when you're not patient with your glue. It just erupts everywhere. And then there's gonna be one down here. So I'm just well pull that down somehow. <laughs> All right, I think I got it. There we go. After getting glue everywhere, I think I got it. And then one more big one that's going to come over he here. Let's see if I can flip it around in my fingers, like underneath this little bag a little. There we go. There was some seepage of glue. Let's see if I can clean that up a little bit. I mean, you really could use a glue dot, or you could use any other glue that you can put, uh, you know, your glossy accents or anything like that. You could use that instead of the fabric tag. But I'm, I'm going to, I think I'm going to only take, I'm thinking, I might change my mind. I think I'm only going to take my fabric tag to Texas, to Maticon. So I'm trying to just use that, I guess. And then, 
<clears throat> I think just one more. And I'm going to use not the biggest one, but not the smallest one. And I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. Right here on this purple piece. So, all right, let me tie this. And then I'm going to let it dry for a minute before I fuss with it anymore. Okay, so I let the cover dry for a little bit and then I grabbed some of my stuff out because now I want to go inside and just start embellishing and adding tags and things where they need to be um, tags. Like I need a tag for here and I'd like to do something there, but I'm not a super 100% sure just yet. And um, I might even put some stuff like on this, like a sticker or something on that envelope there. Matter of fact, let me grab my washi tapes too that are included. I just kind of want everything to be out so I can see, you know, what I've got going on here. Oh, and I was thinking about putting my business card. Remember, I told you I wanted to use my business card? I was thinking about like gluing it and doing some sort of thing there. So maybe I'll do like a little layered look and then have it glued down um, and the paper clip just paper clips over top of it. Does that make sense? So I don't know what I want to do though. So I thought I would just start playing around with some stuff, my scraps and stuff that I have. Um, and maybe make a little layered decoration. When you make it like a smaller album like this, it, um, you have to be more careful, you know, of, of what you put in it. You know what I mean? Um, you can still put your journaling and you can still put your pictures and stuff. You just need to make sure that you can, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. So maybe we could do like a little layered, maybe put some book page or something in between. Let's see. Give it something, a little something, something. Now let's do that. I'm gonna use this plastic packaging here to, to add some ink to this. So, I was thinking, I love, love the look of layers. Love, 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 love. And it wouldn't even bother me if it was sticking up. All right, I'm going to glue them together. Because you can write on that tag, so it's not like, you know, you're not losing a space. paper clip. We're just going to do it. Something so simple can add so much to your albums. Yeah, so that'll stay and that'll be removable and you can add more. You can add pictures, you can add all kinds of stuff right there in that pocket. So that'd be cute. That's cute. Okay. Let's see, what else? That was easy. Oh, back here, I had another idea. You know, my post-it notepad. One of the designs in here is 
one of the build embellishments. So I want to cut it out just like a journaling card and just be all wiggly with your scissors. This is one of my favorite uh, pieces from my build embellishment set number four. It hasn't even been released at the time of filming, but I love it. It's one of my favorites. All right, that's why I put it in a post-it notepad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna ink it up. Like that. And I was thinking on this page to break it, since there's the green in the postcard part right there, I was thinking maybe stick that there and these are all the different little elements from the uh, printable that we've already used. And I was thinking about using some of these little flags here to cover up my name for the most part, like that. Or maybe I should scoot that over a little bit. Maybe not have it so straight. You know, something like that. What do you guys think? Because you really won't be able to see that much of it. I just think that's cute. All right, I'm going to ink these up. <laughs> Plus, you can leave that loose so you can tuck underneath if you want. I'm going to glue some of it down, though. I'm going to glue. You know, this is just post-it. It's not even posted. It's a Bic, I think is what it's, the brand name of it is. Um, just a little bit there. And then glue these down. I might even, I might even add a chipboard piece on here. So right there. And, oops. Oh. Maybe I need to go up a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to have to add a chipboard piece, I think. Like that. And then maybe one of these little buttons. Let's try this purple one. Whoa. <laughs> See, that might be cute. Maybe not for a purple one. What else do we got? Or maybe a sticker. Do I have a sticker that would look better? Let's see what it looks like when I've inked it up a little bit. It seems so bright, I guess, right now. So let's see what it looks like. You know what I could do, too? I could maybe run some twine. Let's try that. Like a button, like a real button. Run some twine. Through there. Yep. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> there we go. Maybe not so much. And then tie a knot. It's cute. Well, it doesn't even have to be a full knot. And then that could go right there. Yeah. Do we like? We do. We're doing it. Yeah, I might have to. I was going to think. I was thinking I was only going to take one glue, but I might have to take two. Um. Oh. Well. Like a white glue or something. Um, let's stick that right there. That's cute. So yeah, I covered up all of my information there. I like it. Yeah, look, I might use this sticker right here. It looks like postage. Oh, whoops. 
it's just a frame. Oh, well, let me see if I can get them both together. The sticker on the inside and the frame. Man. All right, let's try from this side. There we go, both, both together, both together, come on. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna have to do it a different way. So I'm thinking about putting it like up here. I'm, I can't even ink it, so I'm just going to lay this part down. And it looks crooked, lay this part down. Ooh. Sticky stick. Yeah. I like it. So that just gave it some added interest. I think that's a good idea. Okay, and I like that because that gives you room to write if you want to, or if you want to put a big photo there. Well, not a big photo, but a photo. Okay, let's see. Oh, what about back here? I was thinking maybe we could put this as a like a little pocket, just like um, in the other page. I wish I haven't made a tag for it yet. <laughs> That's okay. But this is sized perfectly for that little flip out. And again, just wiggle your scissors, and it, the, the more you wiggle, the better it looks, in my opinion. Let's ink this up a little bit. Should we put like something behind it? No, because we've already got a ticket right there. We don't want to do that. So we're just going to tack it again. And if I can get my glue to come out. So we're going to tack it on two sides again. And then what about just using some of these scrap pieces that I have left over? Um, they don't even have to be like anything. Do you know what I mean? They can just be little bits. I feel like it needs another color though. Uh, uh, uh. It's not big enough. What about this piece? Oh. Hmm. Maybe I can just cut off a piece of this. Mm, I don't like it. I don't really like it. I'm going to have to be more purposeful here. What about this tag? Is it too big? Yeah, a little bit. I don't think we have any more journaling cards left over. Mmm. Kind of stinky beat. I just shorten the one. Maybe I need to add something else to it. Oh, wait a minute. There's these little stickers here. Maybe I could use one of these or a couple of these. Like that says believe. Well, that'll jazz it right up, won't it?
Oh, it's a little crooked, but. All right? Okay. What else I got? What? It's upside down. <laughs> what about taking this and. Oh, you know what might be cute? Let's take. Take two of these stickers. These little round ones. And let's put them as like a little pull. Oh, let me ink it real quick. Isn't that cute? That'd be cute. And then this can go on the back side. like that. There we go. That's a little cuter. That's a little bit better. Okay. So let's put these back in here. Um, good, 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 good. Oh, I st oh that, that still feel like this needs something. Just as simple as a sticker. It's a little long. Oh, that's cute. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it right here. Or do I want to do it over here? Let's do it right there. Yep, I like it. That's cute. Okay, I like that. Jazz that up. No, I still haven't jazzed this up any. Hmm. What to do? What to do? but I feel like it's just too big. Just too big. Maybe I won't. All right, let's go back here. Let's think on some tags. One direction. Let's do this. Let's use this as a traceable template. Maybe Maybe not a tag shape, maybe just a square, like I did earlier. Just use that for reference. Oh my gosh, I did it again. Where I curve in at the end there, it's so weird. And then I can jazz that up a little bit, can't I? I can, like that. That's too big, I think. Let's see if I can just use part of this. That's funny. You know, I told you I can't seem to get my phone to be like um, 
silent, completely silent. I even talked to my son about it yesterday. I'm not sure if he gave me an answer, but... Uh, so I'm trying to get it to be quiet. Well, I just glanced over when it made that noise, and it said, you're going to think I'm completely crazy. <laughs> I don't know who it was, but that's funny. Ooh, I, oh, I kind of like that. So that makes this, like, too short, doesn't it? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, what if I made a full tag? Uh-huh. Because that's kind of a sh short tag. I might just move some stuff around. Ah, that kind of clashes with that, don't it? Yeah, just a little bit. Um, I like that. I might not like that. Let's do this one. Let me get the full tag. And we'll do a tall one. With this purple, purple flower paper. I don't think much is crazy. When you guys say you're going to think I'm crazy, I don't think much is crazy. Because... Um, I'm like that too. I get I get so busy. I get too many things going on in my head. I forget things. Um, all the time. So don't ever worry about me thinking you guys are crazy. Because you're not. <laughs> you're just normal. Because that makes me normal. Oh. See now it's too big. Well. Psh. Shooty doodle. I guess I could have it sticking up just a little bit. What do we think? Or I can just shorten it just a little bit. Let's just shorten it. And I shortened it crooked a bit. Let's shorten it a little more from this side. There we go. That'll work. All right, so now we need to jazz these up. Let me ink it, ink them up, and this one too. Okay, I've got them, I've got them inked up, but I think I want to do like, um, let me see what it looks like. Like a pull thingy up here. Let me ink it up. This is a cute little sticker. All right, we're not up too high, but a little something like that. And then flip it over, because since there's two of them, flip it over and do the same thing. These are really sticky stickers. Match up the hose and everything. Cute. I have a, <laughs> looks like I have an owl on my finger. All right. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. Yeah. I want to put something here so bad. Believe in fairies. Um, what about I'm trying to find a good spot for my sticker sheet? What about here's an idea. Hold on. I might have a couple ideas brewing here. Or Not that, but what about using some of this cheesecloth under it? Let me find a different piece. I gotta be careful because once it's stuck down, it's stuck down, huh? Alright. So 
open that up just a little. Since we've got some on the cover, we need it in different random spots elsewhere, don't we? That's cute. I like that. I like that. We're doing that. Where's my glue? Where's my glue? It's simple, cute. I like it. Doesn't add too much bulk. Yeah, I like it. You can add as little or as much as you want. There we go. There we go. Finally jazzed that up a little bit. And then, was that it? Was that the only thing I wanted to jazz up? That was it that was left? Give it a little something something. Oh no, there's the hat piece. I mean, I don't have to put something on everything, you guys, but I want to. <laughs> um, but I want to. Wonder. Might be kind of a cute idea. Whoa. like have a hanging tag from there let's see Okay, I think I'm going to do it. So, I could have this here. And then, I can take some of my seam binding. That's not a big enough piece. Feed it in through here. I don't know why I've got it so far away from me. It's a little odd. Yeah, that's cute. I like that idea. I need to be more careful about how much seam binding I'm using. But yeah, I like it. You guys like it? I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh. That might be the last spot. I might not have anything to put there. I use since we've got two more tickets and one of these tickets maybe maybe or some washi tape I 
I didn't want to use a chipboard piece because I've already got a chipboard piece on there, but I might. It's looking like I might. Yep. Just because that needs jazzing up. So I'm going to go ahead and add some ink to this. Come back here. <laughs> And so this, poke that out. How did I just have this? put a piece of twine there I think on this and then we'll glue it down and I think that'll be it. <laughs> well, how about we just tie it instead of trying to go through it. That would be a different look. Okay, let me glue this one down first and then I'll tuck the tags in behind it. Right, so then we could have like Need anything else? No. I think that's good. So cute. So you can write your date there or your event. I like it. I like it. Okay, you guys, I think, I think we're going, that's so cute. All right, I think, I think we're done. I think it's done. Did I want to put anything here? I don't think so. I like the look of that. Okay, guys, I think that's it. I think we're calling it done. I think we've embellished it as much as we need to, and it's got all kinds of fun tags and embellishments and pullouts and everything. I think it turned out fantastic. And I hope the class goes really, really well, and I'm looking forward to it. So, if you took my class, because this will be later, right? Remember, if you took my class, let me know. Leave me a comment. Uh, I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys. But anyway, so next, I'm going to be filming the lavender one for the same class, the May May Made It uh, con. Uh, class. This is the other class that I'm teaching. So this is with the Prima Lavender. Um, it's beautiful. It's the same printable template, but it's just a different um, paper line and feel. So we're going to be filming this one, or I'm going to be filming this one next, and it'll be the same deal where I'm filming it early, and then um, 
and then you guys are getting to see it way after the convention so um so just stay tuned for that so okay you guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already go ahead and hit this little button right there and then here is a link to my etsy shop for the templates and the build embellishments and all of that jazz and you may like some of the other videos that you see on the screen and i will see you guys next time bye